learning along with me. I'm Lauren from Lauren Learns. If you've never been here before, uh, thanks for tuning in and subscribe while you're here. Stay a while. Set a spell. Like this video. Today I was going to give an updated version and talk about when I chopped off all my hair and then tell you how I'm feeling about it today. Um, so it's been about, oh, it's been a couple months since I did it. Chopped off all my hair, did it myself. I've been cutting my hair for a while now. Uh, and just and I've had long hair for years. Uh, probably I haven't had short hair like this probably since I was in middle school and it was like not looking good. So I took the plunge. I saw some really cute pictures on the internet that I liked, and I just went ahead and I, I went for it. I went for it. I am you know months in. I've already given myself one really good trim that I got it back up to how short it was when I initially did it. Um, since then I've been trying to grow it out. Here's why. <laughs> Um, I've had a lot of people tell me too, like, wow, your short hair kind of embodies your personality so much better. And I think while I agree with that, I feel more spunky, I feel lighter, I, like, and I love my short hair. I think I just live too active of a lifestyle to keep it short. And it's really gotten annoying to like be able to put it up in a big, a big messy bun when I want to do a hard workout or, you know, run with my dog or something. So I've decided to grow it back out. While I'm deciding to grow it back out, it, you know how short hair always has this weird transition period where it just looks like something's wrong and so I've had days where I don't like the shape and there's pieces here and there's pieces here so I'm trying to like kind of hedge as I go and um, I'm still doing the curly girl method for those of you who don't know what that is I will go ahead and link that in the description below but I did a curly girl video when I first got started with YouTube um, and it pretty much is a way of taking care of curly hair that to, um, uses no heat, so you don't use any hair dryers or flat irons or anything like that, and no silicone and no sulfates in your products. There's plenty of options these days for sulfate, silicone-free hair products, and there's thousands of curly girl videos. <laughs> so I don't need to get into all of that because if you just YouTube curly girl, you're gonna just be blown away and overwhelmed with information. No need for me to add to that. Currently, my, my wash day routine is about every three to four days. I'm still doing the same kind of thing where I use a really protein rich uh, shampoo and conditioner. I like to go with Shea Moisture. It makes my hair super soft and I can just tell like I get a lot of more curl definition on my wash days with that. And then I do Cantu's Cream Activator Curl um, curl cream and I do praying hands with soaking wet hair scrunch it all up with a wet uh, or a dry cotton t-shirt and then I do dollar store gel it's kind of just been my game my jam um, I can't bring myself to spend more than like five bucks on a styler I just think it's kind of a waste of money because it does the same thing for my hair maybe it's just because of my hair texture and my curl um, what's it called my curl pattern but I, I like cheap gel, that's where it's at. So, so I'm transitioning my hair back to long using the curly girl method and I think actually that this is going to help me take care of it to have my hair stay healthy, to have it grow qu more quickly and because I'm not using any heat and I don't need to trim it off anything dead if nothing's dying, if that makes any sense. So I'm like I said, I'm cutting as I go. Like there's certain days where I'm like, oh, this this layer is not looking good. So if you see me in public and you go, wow, you need some help, um, I'm probably not gonna go to a stylist. <laughs> it's just gonna be something that I go through because the money I'm saving while I'm cutting my hair far outweighs my crazy looking my crazy looking girls. Like I'd rather look crazy and save some money than go get it fixed by a stylist. And I've actually had a few people tell me, uh, shouldn't you just go to someone that knows what they're doing? Yes, I could do that, but I'm not going to <laughs> because I enjoy being thrifty and saving saving money and being frugal. That's way more fun to me. That's all I have to report. Um, hopefully in another year or so, it'll be long enough where I can put it in a giant bun and I will be so happy about that. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to be using my pins on days I need it and just kind of taking my hair for what it is every day, one day at a time, because every day is a little bit different. My kids are outside playing. Can you hear them? They're so loud. 
So if you're still watching at the end of this video, watching me ramble, um, you know, thanks. And thanks for tuning in. Yeah, tell friends, tell a few. Um, I'm still here. I will be for a while until I get to my 100 videos, which is what I've challenged myself with, for those of you who still don't know. Since I am in the process of learning all the time, I hope to give you more fun learning tips and life advice next week when I come back next Monday. So stay tuned and I can't wait to see you again then. Go get messy, have fun, and learn.